Hey guys, Drew here. It's time for a new video. Now, first of all, in this video, I want to talk about my last video, which was my first real life video. I want to say thank you guys for all the fantastic feedback you gave me. Now, I was very nervous when I originally put that video up, and I was like, oh god, real life video. And then you guys all gave me loads of likes and some fantastic comments, a few trolls and a few dislikes, but and fair enough, they're allowed to dislike the video, that's fine. So thanks a lot for all your great feedback, guys. I very much enjoyed that. And I'll definitely do more videos like that while maintaining all my RuneScape videos and RuneScape commentaries as well. So thanks a lot for that, guys. Anyway, let's move on a little bit with this video. Now, I want to talk about upcoming videos. Now, upcoming videos, first, before we talk about that, I want to talk about the videos you guys asked for. Now, you guys asked for quite a few videos in particular. First of all, you asked for real life video, which you've got, and I'm now making real life videos. Then you asked for PvP videos, and I've now released two PvP videos, and I'm going to release more. Like, I'm going to try to do them once a week or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoy those PvP videos like you requested. And you guys also asked for guides, and I released a few guides. I released a woodcutting guide, a melee guide, and the dungeoneering guide part 1. Now, the dungeoneering guide needs lots more parts, and part 2 will be released over the next 48 hours. So I hope you guys look forward to that. So I will give you guys what you want all the time, and another video that I talked about a lot in the past was killing monsters with various weapons, silly weapons, for example, Criara Armadillo with a slingshot. Now this is a video I want to do at some point, however, just not have the motivation at the time. And if I don't have the motivation, then the video is going to be quite crap, so I do want to have the motivation. And I figure, well, when the summer comes and everyone's got a bit more time and everyone's playing a little more, I'll probably get a few friends together and we'll work on killing some monsters with various silly weapons to bring that video to life for you guys. So you're still waiting for the guides you asked for, and you're still waiting for the silly boss monsters. But I do, I'm do. i pretty happy with the fact that I brought you guys what you've wanted so far. And I hope you guys all enjoy my videos. And if you have feedback like that, and you'd like to see different types of videos, do let me know in the comment section of this video, or you can always message me on my inbox on YouTube to let me know about your suggestions or your feedback on my videos. And one more thing I quickly want to talk about on the notion of PvP a little bit is my Geo Shenanigans video where I talked about a Balmung and I did a competition. Now, I didn't really get enough entries, and I was quite disappointed about how many people actually entered the competition. So, if you entered the Balmung competition and you know what it is, I'll be awarding everyone who entered 1 million GP, and I will contact you on RuneScape. I have probably added you already by the time you see this video. If not, message me at inbox on YouTube and let me know you entered the competition and provide me with proof. Guys, if you don't know what that is or you haven't already entered the competition, ignore it because it's no longer open. The competition is closed. It wasn't as successful as I'd like it to be, and not enough people entered, and no clips really stood out to me to be worth featured on a video all by themselves. So anyone who did enter and the effort for doing so will be receiving 1 million RuneScape GP and I will have probably added you in game and if not, message me in inbox on YouTube and let me know and I will come trade you the 1 million GP. So thanks a lot if you did enter, but that competition wasn't so great and I guess it was kind of a mistake, but making mistakes on YouTube will help me learn and I'll know what you guys want exactly and I'll try to, well, I'll try to entertain you guys properly 100%. And one more thing this week is my RuneScape Vlog. You know you've seen two RuneScape Vlogs, so Vlog 1 and Vlog 2, where in Vlog 1 I talked about woodcutting, and in Vlog 2 I got 99 woodcutting and showed you what I'd be doing next. However, I haven't really done enough on RuneScape to warrant a full Vlog video, because I always said if there wasn't enough for me to talk about, I wouldn't really do a Vlog, and that's why I do them once a week, because if I don't have much to talk about, there's no point doing one, because I don't want to just pointlessly ramble on on a Vlog video, because I find the Vlog video should be quite to the point. I want them to be telling you guys what I've done on RuneScape. So there'll be no vlog for this week because I haven't done enough on RuneScape to make it an entertaining video. However, you guys might want to know what I've been up to. So at the end of this video, there'll be some RuneScape clips while I'm commentating over them, letting you guys what I have done, letting you guys know what I have done this week on RuneScape. So a mini vlog at the end of this video. So be sure to watch till the end. And you can watch that mini vlog to subsidize for the vlog free instead of vlog free however there will be a vlog free a full length vlog probably next week or beforehand if i don't enough on runescape to warrant it so guys i made some decisions about real life videos i feel like i will do real life videos and runescape videos kinder in the same video and i will do pure real life videos to give you guys updates about my channel and opinions on runescape updates so if i have an opinion on a runescape update i will probably do that in a real life video while cutting to some footage at relevant points to the video so yeah, real life videos will be constant and I will keep them coming while I keep my RuneScape vlogs coming and while I keep Geo's Ramblings coming, which is my most successful video series and my, you know, the video series you guys seem to love the most out of all my RuneScape commentaries. So we're going to see a nice mix of in real life videos for talking about RuneScape updates and talking about channel updates and channel improvements and we're going to see RuneScape videos for RuneScape commentaries, RuneScape guides, etc, etc. And the upcoming video this week will also be my FAQ video, which will be a real life video, and I'll be answering frequently asked questions that you guys ask me a lot on YouTube, on RuneScape, and around the place, and that my friends ask me a lot on Skype and on IRC and stuff like that. So if you guys have any questions for me, 
maybe about real life, I'll answer some of them about RuneScape or about YouTube, do ask me them. You can ask me in the comment section of this video and I'll answer your questions probably if you ask them a lot or they seem like a good question to answer in my FAQ video. That will be a real life video and it seems we've got a nice plan for it. I'm doing it with my friend Yun and we've got a nice plan for the video so it should be entertaining for you guys so you should look forward to it. So if you have any questions for me that you would like answered on the video let me know in the comment section of this video guys. Thanks a lot for that. So guys, remember to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Click the thumbs up button down there. They do help my channel massively. I do care about thumbs up because they help get my channel out there. And it's a big bit of feedback for you guys. So I do like you to do that if you enjoyed the video. And if you really enjoyed it, be sure to favorite the video. And if you're not already subscribed, you can hit the subscribe button, which I think is there or there. After my last video where I didn't know where it was, I still don't know where it is. If you have any feedback for me, do let me know in the comment section of this video or YouTube inbox. Anyway guys, let's cut to my mini RuneScape vlog at the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll let you know what I've been doing on RuneScape. And remember you can join my friends chat on RuneScape which is geo underscore RGE as appearing on screen. You can join the friends chat and join you with some YouTube discussion, some RuneScape discussion and you can talk to me about my videos or ask me any questions if you'd like to. So be sure to join my friends chat if you're not already using a friends chat or you'd like to just speak to me or just speak to random people in my friends chat about RuneScape. It's a nice place to do. We sometimes do some random activities or random events. So be sure to change out if you'd like to guys. So guys, let's have a quick look at my A log over the past week, see what I've been up to. First of all, I got 68 thieving via Pyramid Plunder, 69 and 70 thieving. So that is one extra skill that is above level 70, well, level 70. And then I progressed, to, I decided to get, ooh, 70 mining. So I got 69 mining, happy days, and then 70 mining. Now I was training those through the shooting stars however I'm going to show a quick clip of that after my adventurers log and I leveled 67 runecrafting but because it's an incredibly boring skill that was purely from penguin points so all skills are above 67 and then I got 70 hunter so that means all my skills bar runecrafting are above 70 which is quite good for me as I'm not much of a skiller and then I also did a couple of dungeoneering floors with my friend first and Elound so that was pretty fun a pretty fun week however I haven't played that much and there's not much really for me to talk about not much for me to talk about and then entertain you guys with. However, let's quickly show you some clips. Now, the biggest thing for me this week, the change in my RuneScape activity, was doing the shooting stars. Now, shooting stars basically land anywhere in the RuneScape world every couple of hours, and they land in a random point, and you can find them using the telescope in your house. You can find whereabouts they're going to land, and what time frame they're going to land. Now, I joined a friend's chat of people who like to find these stars. It's a little clan-style thing, and I joined it, and they let you know where the stars are. So, basically, I was running around through RuneScape finding these stars, and they're actually a really cool way to train mining. Now, they're not quite as fast as granite or concentrate concentrated coal, however the nice thing about shooting stars is if you're not high enough level to mine the concentrated coal or concentrated gold, they're actually quite AFKable. Like, you don't have to click at all. If you click it once, you won't have to click again until the rock gets into the next stage. We can take anything up to 10 minutes. It, decide, it depends on how many people are mining the rock, but usually there's 3 or 4 from my experience. But sometimes you'll be by yourself just mining the rock and you only have to click like once every few minutes and it's very nice mining XP, you get a nice little reward from it however you can only reclaim the reward every 24 hours however you can mine as many stars as you want so there's no limit so you basically find the rock, you mine it, you're there for 15-10 minutes and then you find another, sometimes you can be at a rock for anything up to 40 minutes so depending on how many people are mining it it's actually really fun though because you don't have to click much and it's not quite a boring way to train mining like standing there dropping iron or something would be or dropping granite so I did enjoy that and I'm happy I started doing that so you guys should definitely go try it out or if you have any other tips for me about star hunting do let me know in the comments section of this video because the way I see it I will probably be doing that until I can mine concentrated cool because it's nice and easy it's a nice bit of experience and there's not really much effort in there so I can do other things while I'm on RuneScape because I really don't like having to click on mining constantly as I don't find it that engaging or that fun. So there you have it guys, I've been training various skills, various of my low level skills over the week and I've been doing some fishing as well and that's about it. So I haven't really done anything worth talking about for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little simple vlog and I hope you look forward to the full length vlog which will be out within the week where I'll talk about more detail what I've done and I'll try to do something a bit more entertaining to talk about for you guys. So a big thanks as always for watching my video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to thumbs it up if you enjoyed it and if you really enjoyed it be sure to favourite the video. Anyway guys I hope you're still enjoying my videos and be sure to give me your feedback as I've said a few times in this video. Thanks guys. Hey guys, Joe here. Fuck. Oh,